So when we started talking about the share rate, you said um, somebody in the community said you could just do compounding um, interest and then the user would have to interrogate with the smart contract every day, but this was not possible. But um, still we have a compounding interest in Hex, right? So can you maybe explain how the compounding works? Uh, sure. So, um, There's two ways to generate the same curve. So a compounding curve starts uh, by looking very flat, and then it, as the uh, and then it starts to sort of go in a, in a, a J shape up. And the reason it does that is uh, the math for compounding. It's all about doubling time. So the time to double your value, and that just starts to look more extreme. So if you go from one half to one to two to four to eight to 16, uh, the jumps start to get bigger because doubling looks more dramatic. But the other way that you can simulate that is you start at one and then you uh, do the, the compounding logic as a fraction of one instead. So instead of making the number bigger in that pattern, you make the number smaller in sort of the opposite pattern. Does that make sense? Yeah, so like uh, we had it um, before the update with the share rate where we started at uh, one hex equals 100 million shares. Mm -hmm. and, and and right now we, we are displaying it as a hex price per T-share, no? Right, because you're less than one. In fact, every stake that ended uh, reduced it a little bit. It became much more noticeable after BPD. Um, but it was happening all the time. And it looks nearly linear. Excuse me. But if you zoom out, you see that you're actually going on a schedule of, of halvening time rather than doubling time. And it's a, it's a fairly long cycle, which I'm sure we'll talk about uh, uh, average, average stake length a little bit later. But the... The effect of compounding works if you do it that way, where you reduce newcomers on the same schedule that somebody would be compounding uh, if you did it the other way, with a very high touch way. So that's what share rate is meant to, to mimic, is that instead of having somebody hit the button to compound themselves, when somebody uh, exits, it tells the contract, okay, reduce the uh, shares per hex by a little bit. And that's going to mimic the curve, basically the inverse of the, the compounding curve. So that's how, that's how you get compounding is by reducing new people, essentially on the same schedule that you would compound old people. Well, I think the compounding effect is one of the best things in Hex with the share rate, of course. And um, have you ever seen something like the share rate and share price working together in crypto and any other crypto? Is there something like you can stake other um, crypto as well, but is there anything like else um, Hex? Uh, nothing that I've seen. And I mean, granted, I haven't been, uh, you know, I'm not super steeped in the, the thousands of <laughs> projects out there. Um, but I did look into an awful lot of them that were trying, uh, let's see, no, the, the short answer is no, I've not seen anything done like this. So the, the, the schemes that are out there that are common, there's two of them. One is that the, the network or the coin is attempting to be proof of stake. And the way that they do that is not through compounding and interest, but through essentially validator rewards. That you're staking your coins and it gives you a, a small percentage chance to do some work for the network. Uh, and then when you do that work, you're rewarded. And the monetary policy is where they just set how much they reward people. And, but then it's random. So over time, you'll experience you know, 5% gains or, or whatever, because you'll get a chance to get the reward a small percentage of the time, and then they just tune that reward, and it mimics 5% interest. So that's one scheme. That's not code 
mediated. That's not a smart contract. That's network rules. So it's sort of like Bitcoin mining has network rules for what to reward miners. The other scheme are these financial project or products, something like Compound or um, uh, there's a zillion of them. Compound is, is a fairly well-known one where, again, a company is setting a rate uh, based on supply and demand curves. It's not uh, a, a sort of smooth compounding interest function like what we have uh, where nobody has to touch it. Nobody has to do anything to it. It will just work forever. Uh, this is people either trying to write an algorithm to fine tune like a supply demand curve. Uh, actually, DYDX, which is a, a derivatives uh, platform, they do something like this. They have like an interest function that, that uh, computes the instantaneous interest rate. Again, it's not a smooth curve. It's uh, they have admin keys, so like they've swapped out this interest function as they've noticed people sort of hacking the system. Um, it's like high touch. It's still high touch by people making decisions on what the, the rate ought to be. So in both cases, it may be programmatic, meaning that a computer program is deciding what to pay you, um, but it's not uh, something you could have a, a mathematician like write a formula for and then you publish it and then it's just true forever. And that's what Hex has.